Well, I <coughs> am an admitted movie, like horror movie wimp. I usually can't handle the gore, but with this movie, I was freaked out one minute and laughing literally the next second. So oh, tell me how you guys um, really took those two genres with this movie and why audiences should come see it. I would love to take credit for by, you know, putting these two genres mm -hmm. together, but that's all Eli and Morgan. They mad geniuses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. There was a lot of that. <laughs> and this is the horror, and this is the comedy, and it's a tough. It's a tough mix. It's a tough balance to make. A lot. A lot of times you see that done with uh, a lot more comedy, leaning on the comedy. You know, the the scary movie uh, franchise, which it is. There's like five. It's a big one. Seven. That, that is so comedy, so spoofy, and they just leave reality. Um, this was much more about playing it as real as possible in the most ridiculous circumstances. Uh, you know, somebody could jump into a wood chipper. Realistically, it yeah. could happen. We reacted to it as it happened. Um, uh, but that's where the humor comes from. Yeah, truth, truth and comedy for sure in this movie. But what is it about? Why is someone jumping in a wood chipper? Oh. Tyler. Well, the... for... Comedic effect, obviously. I mean, anytime somebody goes over a wood chipper, it's hilarious. My uncle does it every Christmas. Yeah, it's a bit of a party Just trick, like, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there he goes. Again. Uncle Joey's in the wood chipper again. Uh, he's getting down to not so many appendages anymore. He's, <laughs> but no. The uh, the funny thing about this movie is like the the sort of taboo element of laughing at all this death and gore. I think is really appealing. Like you, I remember the first time we saw it at Sundance with a, a big crowd. It was like it took a minute for people to realize, like, I'm, yeah, I'm supposed to, I, it's okay that I want to laugh at that. And then once everybody starts getting in on the joke, it's like, it's infectious. That's the thing about the, uh, the comedy in this movie is that it's almost like, yeah, it's a little taboo. We're, we're encouraging you to laugh at something horrible. And we're just reacting to it as the actors in this situation. And that's, like Alan said, that's why it's funny. It's like, we're doing the, con we're being concerned for you. You know, you don't have to. You can just watch the misunderstandings and the bodies pile up, and we'll take care of the rest for you, and you just laugh. Exactly. Like, the moment where the guy shoots himself in the head, I'm la I was laughing. I'm like, I yeah. shouldn't be laughing And right it's now. gross, man. This His brains horrible. are all over the right. window and shit. Like, it's gross, but it's hilarious. I don't... Yeah. It's a bit of an anomaly. I don't get it either, really, why that's... Well, when, in real life, when young people die, it's a riot. It is. It is. And College just, kids... We're exploiting yes. that natural tendency to laugh at wasted youth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So now, how did you two sophisticated gentlemen make yourselves these complete idiot hillbilly yeah, crazy guys? Yeah, we really did. Uh, again, would love to take credit for where that came from. It right. is Eli and Morgan. But the cool thing about Dale for me was that Eli, when he approached me about the part, he had seen me in a couple other things I'd done where I, I've sort of made a bit of a career out of being like a snarky, you know, sharp-witted, you know, asshole best friend or whatever. And then there's Dale, who was like the simplest, sweetest, you know, character in this movie. And I was like, why in the world did you think of me to play this guy? And uh, Eli just was like, I want because I saw underneath that stuff that you can really strip everything away and that you're really like a sweet fellow. And that was like... That was really fun to do. It was really challenging, but that was what was so cool about it was that I got to like really just be a big dumb animal, you know, just really just leading with my heart and sort of being a just a, a kind of a big scaredy puss. <laughs> is, that even, is that even a is that even a saying? Scaredy puss? I think I just made that up. I think yeah, yeah. I think puss is any then scaredy. I think on their own they can be. They met okay. They yeah. was that was a meat cute of words. Yeah. Scaredy puss. I didn't know Did you guys know each other word. before this? No. Uh, I was a big fan of Alan's. <laughs> I still, <laughs> no, still no. hold this grudge. Was, did you I was say like, was? You, no, uh, I am. I continue to be. But when we before we met, I was like, Alan Tudyk's doing this movie. Hot dog! I was like, oh man. And he showed up, and I was like, oh, I'm really, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of your work. And he was like, yeah, I don't know who you are. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't like that, but it was. I was definitely like, I was like, and, and. Do you, and he was just like, I don't, I don't, I know you're, you've are done some family. stuff. I don't know. I haven't seen any of it. I have to say, your work in Tucker and Dale, which I've seen now, yeah, many was times, brilliant. Thank you. Um, there's other stuff though. Now. There, there are things. There's some other things, and I'm gonna <clears throat> get around to that. But yeah. I'll tell you what. The day that I finally break down and watch Firefly, there we go. You have to watch Reaper. 
Oh, yeah. All right? Yeah, yeah. Quid Got pro it. quo. All right. Yeah. It's okay, so now that you've right. seen the movie yeah. and seen each other <coughs> and seen the whole thing, what is your favorite line in the movie and or moment? Oh, shit. Sure. I know my, I love, it's been a doozy of a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. It has been a doozy of a day. I love, I love the, it just everything he does in that scene cracks me up. Mm-hmm. That's very nice. On accident. <laughs> I think uh, it's lame to quote your own line as your favorite line in the movie, but yeah, when, go, I, tell, when I, tell, I, tell me yours and I'll say that's mine. mine. Yes, I love a guy like me talk to a girl like you. Somebody was gonna die. I love when uh, Dale says, "You have to. Kn- you, you, you had to know when a, if a guy like me uh, fell for a girl, you're, you're for a girl so like bad. you, someone would have to die." Something like that. And don't you love it when my <laughs> character says, "When we shake," and I say that hurt very much. Yeah, when well, well, my favorite moment is when Alan at the end. My line? Yeah, it, he says. Uh, he says, uh, looks right in, deep into my eyes and says, what? I say, we're friends forever. We're friends forever. And we're friends forever. And then I squeeze his hand and he goes, that hurt very much. Yeah. That's I'm my, glad you liked yeah, that. That's I my favorite really part. for it. Yeah. Nice, nice moments yeah. there. <laughs> nice moments. Okay. Very organic, you know, just, uh, just natural picks mm-hmm. out of the crowd. Yeah. Talk fashion here for a second. I love that you're wearing orange with uh, Halloween coming up. Thank you. I'm rocking it too. I also have learned that there is some sport significance to this today. Some Texas. Oh, UT. Oh, yeah. UT, UT color or whatever. I didn't know that. I'm Canadian. We They'll don't give a shit about football. All day. Just watch. But What's you got that? the right color on. I do. <laughs> and UT. Halloween. I hadn't even thought of that. I so, do look a little, little bit like a pumpkin. What are your favorite horror movies? Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. No, that's my favorite comedy. Oh, Pretty Woman. <laughs> Oh, did you say horror or horror movie? Horror. 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 Oh. Yeah. Uh, horror. 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 The horror. Uh, I like, the, I mean, Shining <laughs> is scary. <clears throat> and that's kind of beyond horror. That's, a, that's like a psychological, that, that movie does a number on your brain. Those twins, man. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm sort of in the uh, exorcist school of thought mm. on being one of the scariest movies of all. And it's still... Makes me wet the bed every time I watch it. Yeah, I piss the bed so bad. It makes me project. T M I. No, it's just it's it's such a good movie. It's really stands the test of time. It's scary as shit. Yeah, it's a good movie. And any last thoughts on the movie that uh, our viewers should know? I think you you characterize this movie as just a good movie. I think once. You try to pitch this movie to people, and you're like, well, these kids think that they're trying to kill, and they're, all, they're literally falling asleep while you're pitching it, because it's impossible to pitch. All that's left to say is, if you like good movies, and you want to laugh at a bunch of really rotten stuff, go watch this movie, and you won't be disappointed. Yeah. All right, will do. Cool. Thanks, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you.